lojo kojo la bewe kuku duku loko pojob international wati wati peti pe lati bati wati mbabo wong fi bakan teri u wati wati bebe wati bebe bebe pojob cinema pojob cinema ni watu bebe pojob cinema lori youtube e follow wanka like wanka subscribe ibe leti mwa wa wa ya bale filmu e doki filmu ton lefo gantara pojob cinema mo beri fu nyi filmu meso anto toni wong koja gyo a wong bangkok be filmu e kini manje mwe gman e keji my wet e keta o meni e keri alamu eko e karun a iman se wali pe ikan ki se se rago o koja be e le ile ti keju e de yo ba ni wong fisha wong filmu yi e le e kefa se e kesa e de yi bo ni wong kon e kefa tama e keje di casting e kejo e mwa di detective e kesa andred M1 the detective at 100 only series 11 man wo iye da gbele wo ni e podium international podium cinema e follow won ke like won lori youtube won wa lori facebook won wa lori instagram podium cinema o ti dobe e subscribe welcome uh today uh, i don't know if i'm okay yeah you're good yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're good. So uh, I remain myself, uh, Kayo Deemola, and we have uh, in the studio today, uh, Baba Jala. Baba Jala, if you want to greet our listeners today. Well, I will say good afternoon from my location, which is London. And if you are anywhere else, my greetings to all of you. Um, because I don't want to repeat good morning, good day. Uh, my greetings to all of you. I'm speaking from yeah. London. I, I mean, in the, in the Yoruba parlance, uh, yeah. what we've devised is Ekudede uh, So, uh, yeah. people could be in the morning or afternoon, evening yeah. or night, uh, whatever exactly. time they are. So of, uh, uh, our Yomi Wani, uh, Australia. Uh, and uh, some people are in America. Exactly. So, so yeah. Let so us now minimize our greetings. Greetings, this, and then go go straight to the to the business to of the, the day. Point. Yeah. The, the, the last time we, we the last time we <laughs> met, uh, Vajala, we spoke about uh, the ASU strike. So we we looked at education, uh, in uh, especially in uh, Nigeria, uh. Uh, as regards uh, tertiary institution, where the brains that should move the society are being made dormant. Uh, we've been in this struggle for self-determination for the Yoruba people, and uh, we're looking at uh, African Union and the Pan-African question. Uh, a lot of people are uh, advocate Pan-Africanism, 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 without necessarily understanding what Pan-Africanism means or what it should be. And uh, <laughs> we are saying Pan-Africanism uh, is sort of like uh, a sort of a mental slavery to, uh, that is being deposited for colonialism. Uh, my take is if we're gonna have a Pan-Africanism, are we gonna have Pan-Africanism based on our African languages? Uh, I, I, if I speak my Yoruba now, an Hausa man may not even understand me. Uh, a Swahili man, I don't even understand him. Some people speak Ewe, some people speak... And so we have several languages. Are we going to be on Pan-Africanism based on English, French, Portuguese, which are borrowed languages? So uh, let, let's speak your brain, Baba Jala. Pan-Africanism, uh, Pan -Afri uh, Africa and Pan-Africanism. The African <laughs> Union today, they speak uh, foreign language, and their role in terms of uh, uh, the development of Africa and the conflicts uh, that's going on in Africa in several states. Well, um, if we go back to the history of Pan-Africanism and Africa, and also um, the idea of uh, Organization of African Unity and then uh, AU, African Union. For want of uh, 
understanding who they are, they decide to change it to African Union. Are you with me? Look yeah, like, I'm with you. Uh, I can use okay. Yeah, I can. Uh, I'm here, and uh, you can see me now. Yeah. Well, um, I have decided to study the whole setup. The Africans must unite. Africans must unite. If you translate that language into Africa, it is when this idea of Pan-Africanism came up. More than 99% of the Africans do not understand what was said. Mm. It was only understood by a few of our people the colonial masters gave chance for some education and they uh, found themselves in the European countries that had conquered them and were schooling. And then they found it, well, because a, a form of racism, Blacks come into Europe to educate and they were not seen to be very brilliant. Unfortunately, they proved them wrong. But we have not proved them wrong again in one sense. The, uh, I will give a summary of uh, the, la the last recorded Pan-African conference published uh, in 1945 in, uh, in, uh, in Manchester. The communique that came out was that the African, Africans are commanding South Africa to end apartheid right. with immediate effect. Mm -hmm. Let me... Let's look at the Africans who were there, the Jomo and all that were there. Then there was also the unit in France. There were Africans of French origin, Africans of English origin. And you're talking of Pan-Africanism. Hmm. And you're trying to meet with the Africans of, I understand that Africans in Europe, uh, in England, who spoke English, went to also attend the conference in France, in fact, the French one preceded the uh, one. The, the Manchester one, and then there was another one. You see, I will call it a, just a social club of Africans coming to know themselves. But hmm. to know themselves, do they know their countries? <laughs> do they know their culture? And their culture and the way they grew up, and their language, not the English or French language they spoke to each other, through translators. We have very brilliant scholars among our people. But did they sit back to think, if we are going to have Pan-Africanism, on what basis is it going to exist? To me, I, have, I told Professor Banjaki ban that it, it's, it's a mere dream born of lack of understanding what africans should have done by the time they were getting independence look at the chaos the congo and even us in nigeria started with there was no war but one of the major players of the independence was just thrown into the stands during the independence uh, this uh, night of independence is that pan-africanism starting from a nigeria created by Europeans at a trading post, and they what? want, it's in several books, it is our present that is keeping you together. Exactly. I mean, now, I, I, I will tell you one of the uh, uh, great proponents of uh, Pan-Africanism, when it started around the 1950s, uh, Dr. It started in, uh, earlier than then. Yeah, uh, it started earlier than that, uh, uh, and then uh, gave rise to the civil rights movement in America. Yeah, one of the proponents was uh, Osajifo Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, uh, and uh, what uh, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah was trying to advocate then uh, was that uh, Africa and Africa resources should be. Uh, marketed in such a way that we set the price we set the price for the goods that we we sell to the europeans and to the americans now you will see that prior prior to that what we had in africa was the british the french the portuguese the uh, spanish they control 
controlled our economy, they controlled our resources, they controlled every affair. And that is why France before used to spend CFA. They now spend Euro. The, the children they left behind, the Republic of Benin, Togo, Côte d'Ivoire, uh, and so forth, Senegal, they still spend the CFA. Britain, a uh, majority of the colonies they left behind changed their currencies. And Nigeria changed their own currency from uh, pound sterling to naira. So, and so prior to uh, independence, all these commodities, the price of cocoa, the price of wheat, the price of uh, uh, all the things we produce, uh, both uh, in agriculture and uh, raw materials, uh, petroleum, was being set by Europeans and America. Now, Nkrumah's vision um, was... I would not say America per se, because the, there's a place down um, on uh, the Victoria Abankment. There's a a commodity trade center that set the price of commodity worldwide. It, you see, don't let us always bring America into this ball game, because America sat back and enjoyed whatever came out of Europe. That's exactly. Okay. So, yeah. No, I I, I agree so with you. But, but it, it's just because America enjoyed... took over what what whatever they left. No, America they took over, over whatever anything. they left. They didn't uh, take behind. over anything because. Uh, I grew up into it, and I know that whatever uh, the time the Americans came with the Peace Corps, they brought a lot of food to Africa. And this is because, and they were trying their best to tell Africans that you could produce these things. And you know, <clears throat> Western yeah, Nigeria. And even up to today, even up to today, America is our greatest uh, trading partner. America still buys up to yeah, 25%. They of, were uh, encouraging us to produce for ourselves our own market. Yeah, so that, that, that was, was what Nkrumah so, was trying to do. Now, what now happened in trying to implement that policy, uh, the first thing the Europeans did was to crash the price of cocoa, which was a major export for, for Ghana. They crashed the price of many commodities such that the African economy was weakened. So it was now contrary to what the Pan-Africanists were trying to achieve in terms of it is our, it is our goods, we determine the price. <laughs> and if we look at uh, the war in, uh, before you come in, if you look at the war in uh, Europe right now between Russia and Ukraine, mm. the same thing they've tried to bring in sanctions to Russia. And the sanction was meant to damage the economy of Russia and damage the currency. And Joe Biden said that the uh, Russia ruble is now rubble because uh, they were yeah. expecting the power. I, will, to I will don't want us to bring the African EU with the this. It's more no, no, I was just bringing the money. To the, I'm, yeah, I'm bringing the, the system. It's more the, complex the, than that because. Uh, the ruble has not actually fallen, so we will not. Be, I don't know. What, what, I'm, not, what I'm trying to say is, yeah. the ruble is now the best performing currency because yeah. Russia, we are able to turn it around, so such that the sanction, did, even though it affected them, but it did not crash their currency uh, the way it the, affected. What, what happens is the commodity they have. It's not that they turned around anything. They were able to sell more. This time to China, particularly China and India, and India. So making much from that area has boosted uh, both yeah, sides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but let us come back to Nkrumah Africa. and all that. Yeah. Um, I will tell you, Nkrumah did not do well for his people, even though when he campaigned about commodity. If I were in his shoe, because I grew up there. I knew that it was better for us to process our cocoa to uh, put added value. But it did not set up. It did I not mean, set up. Nkrumah did not set up this. If even the time he, uh, if I'm an, I'm an African, grown up at that time, I know that my people are in the backwoods. I would not go and build just 600. I would rather invest that money in the education of my people in the introduction of science and 
technology right from primary school. He did not do that. So I I can I have talked to some Ghanaians about this. It, it's not it's not for us to just praise people talking or saying that uh, I told off um, uh, the president of my uh, uh, of of uh, this thing, uh, France or the uh, he stood up against this thing. No, but what are you showing for it? Are you able to produce a toothpick from scratch in your country? Without needing uh, raw materials from abroad, even if you need the raw materials hey, you, from abroad, you, you, that, you have trees, but you need the equipment. And when you get the equipment, you you need to set up iron and steel, which we have still not been able to to set up properly. Any country that is to want to develop to set up an iron and steel industry that will produce the basic uh, material for infrastructure development in roads, uh, railways buildings and all that we don't have that in africa we are still importing everything and then we are talking about africanism let's just talk about communication when sevalo sonipio says something about having to phone france to be able to phone uh ghana uh, a flower which was next door to him france will connect to in uh, britain britain will now connect to ghana and, uh, okay but you knew this why did you not had do something do something about it they did not you see they are just full of words i've I have tried to look at many of the things that were said when i was growing up along this uh, changes in africa the same is what we're still experiencing even in the <laughs> financial <laughs> sector in Every africa thing. we've enjoyed being a receiving nation and that is when when business. Business. yeah that that is true when i said in north of lagos you know sometimes i don't always want to mention this my lecturer because i was concerned i would say look our currency seems to be uh, of this at par or even more than the british currency but i said it has a weak base because it's not we don't have that kind of uh, uh, economy that can support that this thing we are only using oil at the moment that was my argument if we develop our cocoa and oil palm industries to produce and process by the way the aurora you buy in nigeria is processed oil palm bleach from indonesia and the oil palm seeds were got from nigeria in the first place or exactly. from ebonica and bini and they, uh, and they produce ne nearly 40 40 million tons in indonesia every year and that there is the mainstay of their economy. Apart they, from they, they are struggling, they are struggling they to have, produce one million pounds. Not only that, they have iron and steel. They are producing cars. They are producing electronics. But what are we producing? Even when Innocent was producing, they tried to to frustrate him. They tried to make him close down to move his factory to Kaduna. If you remember, yeah. How do you do that? Why not set up yours? Okay, all the ones that we set up during the military era, they are closed down. The Lilans in Ibadan, the Pan in Lagos, uh, the, 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 the Volkswagen in Lagos, the Pan in Kaduna, and then the Sears in uh, Bauchi producing trucks. They are closed down. That we have been employing our young men and women in, in areas of engineering, accounting, even cooks. You see, we forgot what is called development, we are talking about men of timber and caliber in politics who are just amassing and creating resources to themselves and paying themselves large salaries and they are not ashamed that they cannot, they cannot produce a, a car. The, the members of House of Representatives and Parliaments all over the place are earning more than the ones in America, Europe and everywhere else. hundred times more than the average. Shame average worker now I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna take you on this before we come into conflict africa uh, the african union is saying oh by 2063 we want to roll out uh, a, a unified passport system for the entire africa is it a dream or uh, a, a, would you call it a dream or reality are they working towards it is it going to work at all well what basis are they going to do that did they look at uh, the continent of asia 
<laughs> did they look at themselves? Are we still going to continue by 2023 and 2063 to be uh, uh, rolling out graduates who are proficient in French, German, and no, not German, uh, the African, now. English, uh, English uh, Spanish, and Spanish Portuguese. and Portuguese? Have you answered those questions? And even they have meetings. And they know that despots are amongst them, and they never even talk about them. You see, I will not want to listen to the so-called African leaders because they have messed up. And those of them, those of them, we praise. Look at the Congo. Just a week after independence, it, it, it caught fire. And the reason behind it is that the people contained in the Congo have no common ancestral origin. That, and, 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 that will bring, and that will bring me to the question that will bring I will, me be, the... I, will be, I will be read some statement that some writers in several books I have around there I'll just quote uh, um, Tim, Tim Marshall he said the Congo should never have been created at all in the first place because the people don't know themselves and there are not even any communication connections with themselves the only uh, power line that was, cons uh, was built from a um, uh, the Matadi uh, Rapids connects to the uh, to the mines in Kantanga province. And when it passes through that, it has passed through several countries inside the Congo. And these countries don't know each other. And there are no roads. And one Rikati railway that uh, travels at around uh, 10 miles an hour. It's one, one single one. This is what they still depend on until as we are speaking now. And there's no road between Kinshasa and uh, uh, Kisangani, the second largest city in the, in, in the Congo. And that's, that thing they are trying to replicate in Nigeria now. The road between Ota and Lagos is, is non passable They want hmm. to reduce us to that level. And I understand that the, the president some time ago about... I, 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 uh, I, 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 want to take, I want to take you on, because I said I was going to come to the conflict part, uh, Babajala. Yeah. Uh, we we uh, you said a week after Congo got independence, uh, they started. Uh, th there was trouble. Yeah. Now, by half uh, uh, some few years after Nigeria too got independence, there was there was trouble. Yeah. They, they were not understanding each other. Today, Ambazonia, na na uh, na na Namibia. So yeah. Africa is going through these phases of. They've been fused together. Different people have been fused together who don't understand each other. And we are, saying, we are saying there is African Union. Is it not time for Africa to say, okay, let's let's have a rethink. What is causing this conflict? If these nations needs to split, how can African Union be that mediator so that they, if they are promoting world peace, we can then know that, yes, Africa uh, Union is at the forefront. So what can the, the, the uh, ministers or the commissioners or whoever, the hierarchy in the African Union, what can they do in terms of uh, Ambazonia that is fighting uh, Tigray in uh, Ethiopia, Biafra yeah. uh, in uh, uh, Nigeria, we have uh, Namibia, and several other places in Africa. The southern part of Senegal, they don't want to be part of Senegal. And even in uh, Morocco. And then the Ivory Coast want to be split into two. Yeah, so, so what 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 role can the African problem. Union the, the do? African rather than just know. rather than just shouting Pan Africanism when they cannot put their house in order? Uh, the African Union has not realized that they got independence on top of European spheres of influence. I'll be very uh, very slow to explain this. Yeah. The European spheres of influence and not African countries. But we Africans claim them as African countries. Hmm. It's not right. And in the process, we find that different nationalities, which we erroneously call tribes, live in those constructs. And that is why, in most cases, like Guinea-Bissau, when they were forced out, the Portuguese, they took even their bench and everything away. But these people sat back. There are trees in the forest. There are carpenters in their, in their society. Why don't they construct new ones? 
You see, we hear the same thing with Ghana. Uh, some time ago, they wanted to change the furniture in their in their House of Parliament. They want they wanted to import from China, and whereas there are high quality furniture makers, and in furniture Ghana. makers in Ghana. That's why even if they are not, they could develop whole growth to showcase uh, the quality of the African furniture making. There are some of the furniture I bought in Ibadan those days in nineteen. Uh, in 1970s, uh, when my friends come, ah, Ajala, you imported this. I said, no, it's made by an African, by uh, our own man. All he needed is he has electricity, he has the equipment, he has trained well in the trade centers that were established under Awolowo in those days. If you saw this quality material, everybody, then they say, okay, you are lying. I said, follow me, let's go to his factory. We got to the factory and they saw these things. Some of them, they are alive and they are listening to me. They will remember what I'm talking about. And they say, so we can make such things. And in fact, some of the type of chairs that were seen in Babangida's office when he was Amazing. head of state were the same type, which was important, the same type this man was making in hmm. Ibadan. I, 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 I'll, te I'll tell you something around the year. But they are not encouraged. They are not before the year two thousand. Around 19, uh, in the nineteen nineties, I know of uh, an Igbo guy. I I know him personally. Who was making shoes? He was making shoes in Aba, and on that shoes, he would brand it "Made in France." He was exporting those shoes from Nigeria to France, and they were selling in big uh, French shops. And you will get Nigerians that will go to France, buy those shoes, happy to buy it, and bring it back to Nigeria. Is that the, the so I, 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 call, I called him and I said, why do you do that? Why not put made in Nigeria? He said nobody will buy it. Nobody will even near it. Yeah. And it is the fault of our leadership. If they started to encourage and buy our own. Everybody will. I, I give you a it. typical example. When uh, uh, Gongwon was head of state and when he just married his new wife, she gave an interview. And in that interview, they said, oh, you are a very fashionable lady. Uh, where do you get your dresses? Do you get them from, uh, from mm -hmm. our... Uh, local shops and textile industries. He said, no, 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 no. I buy my things from, from uh, England and France and all that. Promoting French economy. So I decided I bought some Ankara made in Ikeja. That Ankara up to today has not faded. I'm telling you. Only it's, not, it's too small for me to wear. If I'm at home, Nigeria, I will have brought it out to show you. It was made perfectly in Nigeria. And some of them made again in Nigeria. Uh, people who brand it and send it to Kotonou or Togo. And uh, people will go and buy it again. It is, you see, to make a nation, you have to have a leadership that has the interest of the people. Like I said in one broadcast, the child that is still suckling the breast it's a very important quotient in the development of a nation. And you must take care of that person. And that's, that drives me back to free health and free education. But if all these are not there and you are not thinking of your people and you are going in a verbose way, African Union, this and that, look at the wretchedness all over Africa. Fortunately, a few young men and women are trying their best to develop an industrial capability. But that's not enough. There are millions of us who are suffering, hmm. and and that yeah. millions who have been a, a very powerful market for the things we produce. But no, like you said, the and, 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 that, and that is one of the things I I said Africa needs to look at because for a very long time the Europeans have uh, made us believe that our wealth is in our natural resources. And I say our wealth is not in our natural resources. Our wealth is in our human resources. And I'll give us an example. In the 70s, when a lot of countries started uh, uh, developing oil and making money from oil, 
a lot of countries, even the UK did not get it right because they brought this model that uh, the natural resources are resources for the country, for the nation to spend on uh, development. Today, Nigeria is still subsidizing oil. Now, Norway went a separate way. Norway, Norway said, no, let's start, uh, step back and look at what model we would bring. And Norway, rather than taking those resources and spending it on the country, started putting every dime in a trust fund, such that today Norway has over one point something trillion in their trust fund. Not many nations have that kind of uh, money. And uh, people like Gowon then were saying, Nigeria's problem is not uh, generating money. income, but how to spend it. So rather than saving for the rainy day and building other uh, sectors and capacity, there is nothing <laughs> stopping Nigeria from having a satellite building station in anywhere within Nigeria. There is nothing it. stopping uh, uh, Nigeria, but they failed. And that is uh, uh, one of the things that uh, an independent Yoruba nation needs to look at. Yeah, we should it. not look at the fact that, oh, we are a small nation. We are not small. 50, 60 million people are not small. And we've got the land. We've got the capabilities. England is less than 60 million. Exactly. England is, uh, no, England is, England, yeah, England is less than 60 million. The then entire you US add is Scotland million. and Wales. That and and Yoruba land, Yoruba land is bigger than England and Wales put together. So uh, uh, I know they've distorted the map to, to confuse a lot of our people to say, oh, yeah, your, 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 your land is very small. Africa is very small. Uh, and I look, I say, no, Africa is not small. We've got the land, we've got the, but we must realize that if we are moving towards Pan-Africanism, if we are moving towards Pan-Africanism, the Pan-Africanism should be on the African nationalities. If Africa, at the end of the day, having realigned themselves, can come up with 200 countries and that can live in peace and grow and develop Africa, I think Africa should embrace that rather than just shouting paper pan-africanism because is, paper pan-africanism will not give us the development that africa really needs well that, exactly that is my campaign that I, the countries that were left behind should be dissolved it is not exactly. about secession is the dissolution of those countries so that each area will now start to work with the people they understand exactly so that they can develop because the key to life is development from the from cradle to grave. It is not about uh, uh, because Europe, Europe, of Europe develop, Europe develop, uh, Europe develop, develop organically. Uh, yeah. you, you can't say France and Germany should become one nation because, uh, yes, and then you mix them together and then give them a foreign language, for instance. So, okay, you give France, France, and Germany, you say they should start speaking Dutch, and you say they are one country, they are one uh, nation. No, no, they you, are going, like one you are not going, you are not going the way I have discussed it before with uh, some members of the Chatham House. I told them, I said, What if let's assume that the uh, the Africans don't have not built ships as at the time, but the Africans have a way of transporting themselves all over the world. And yeah. I said, like we say, a bay or something like that, uh, teletransportation. And then they came over and they flew over Europe and said, oh, this land is very beautiful. Ah, those are rivers flowing. They don't know the names of the rivers. Maybe River Seine, they call it uh, Oya at this time. Or, or they call it Ose. And then the, the other river, Danube, they call it uh, uh, Benue. And then they said, OK, um, I need this land. You now constructed the boundary with the other Africans that have come to acquire land. That this is my boundary. Don't come into it. That is my sphere of sleepless. For example, the Yoruba man who comes now constructed a boundary around a large piece of land. And in that large piece of land, there are portions of French, German, and Italian. Then mm -hmm. the other portions of French, German, Italian, and other countries, just like the situation of uh, the uh, Niger, 
and uh, Benin and Republic. Too. Okay, they are Yorubas in Benin Republic. So in my own country that I have consulted and I say, okay, you people, you are primitive. You must be speaking my language. I will bring people who will teach you my, language, teach you my language. language. And then your religion. Oh, that is paganism. I will teach you if I will, shall Lord marry one God. And then mm -hmm. I, I set up uh, schools and then start to exploit the mineral resources. And if you don't speak my language, then and you are illiterate. Yeah, I call you illiterate. Then when I did this scenario to the gentleman, I said, it will never work. I said, why? Germans, Italians, and and, uh, and French in one country? Then I said, why do you not expect Nigeria to work? I said, he kept quiet. I said, that is what we are facing. And that is why me and many others have run out of the country. Because we have been trying to tell the country that for the people, it is not the country, for the people to survive, they must be on their own. They cannot exactly. cooperate with the others. After all, the same thing uh, Balewa said in his speech in 1953, when he, when he, the summary is that every, every area should be on their own and there should not be a central government. There should not be a Nigeria. And even uh, after uh, this man came, uh, the first the first meeting of the Federal House after independence, of which uh, Harold Macmillan attended, he called Harold Macmillan aside and said, this is not going to work. Uh, very soon, communities will now start to break away and start agitating for their own oneness. And, and, that, and, that, and, that, and that is the struggle today. And it's not and only he, in Nigeria. He said that, but for yeah. him, he does not want a Yoruba man to lead him. But we put our heads down. Oh, I fear Nigeria. We want Nigeria. Uh, Nigeria, some of my elders who know me, uh, they want to tell me, uh, compromise, Loma Agba. It is going to be compromised. Uh, we can work together. Uh, is it can? When you have built, uh, you have built uh, resources and wet in the north, and you are driven back without a penny or sometimes killed. A lot of our people have died. You see, it is not hatred. It is the reality of the fact that Nigeria cannot work, just like most, most of African countries. We should dissolve that connectivity that brought us together into this political. Uh, uh, jungle, whereby we, everybody in the pol who has the political uh, weapon is raping the country of its resources. That, I, that there, there's, a, there's something I would, I would yeah. even like to. I, I, I don't like discussing Nigerian politics, but I, I, I'm just going to bring it uh, for the sake of uh, uh, argument. Now we have uh, candidates who have been fostered on Nigerians not by the choice of Nigerians, and they say you have to vote these people. Now, if we look at the process that these uh, people have acquired that mandate to even be able to say they want to contest, it's been fraudulent. When people go out and buy the will and conscience of people with money that is flying in the face of everybody and they're promising to bring good life, uh, we, we, we saw the recent one where uh, uh, delegates were we, uh, we being paid to vote uh, candidates. They may, be, they may be qualified, they may be unqualified, but when you have a system like that, that institutionalize, I don't want to say institutionalize corruption because corruption is a daily part of uh, the African uh, society instituted by the uh, colonizers. When we have a, a, a fraudulent institutions like that, rubbing it in the face of the people, uh, how do you think Africa and Africans can uh, extricate themselves from this uh, colonial mentality that we have to accept whatever has been given to us, whether uh, good or bad? I will say it is no longer colonial mentality. It's the... It's the just some scholars, I will call them, call it African socialism. 
which has no, no meaning in reality. They call it African socialism. And that's what they, they say they are proponents of African socialism. It's a corruption of the activities of the people whereby they help themselves to work on their farms to develop wealth for individuals, not for the community. I go to your farm with a, another group living in the same quarter to help you to develop your farm to have larger harvest. Same thing, he will come to my own farm to do the same. That's how uh, our people did. And then uh, we had a form of uh, thrift cooperative money management, which we call a susu, a susu. which is, uh, which is uh, almost becoming international now. We still have developed all those. And some of our scholars now, for want of understanding, they call it African socialism. It is not a, it's a welfare approach. That's the simple thing. I hate using uh, verbose words to describe uh, things, to make me feel uh, in the midst of people that I understand. Why can't I come down to the act so that the common person going to the stream to fetch water will understand me if I translate what I've just said in English into Yoruba? That is where we, we are making mistakes. You find in Europe and America, they have standards in terms of language usage. They have the colloquial, they have the ordinary daily usage, and then they have the classic ones, like in England, they call it Queen's English, which is used in writing reports. We should not, uh, we should not burden our people with Queen's English. But I, one thing I will not apologize for today is that I'm speaking English language today because I want the Europeans in which we are living there means to understand that we have a great pain in our heart that we no longer want to be part of such constructions in Africa called African countries or erroneously called African nations or new nations of Africa. You find a lot of publications that... Uh, uh, that shows all these things I'm saying. We should come down to the earth. I want to see even an Atigere country. <laughs> if it's exactly. possible. I, I, I mean, uh, in, in the, the, in the last point, two in the We last are two seeing our time in Africa. We, we, are even, we are even slowing down development. We think we are developing. In, uh, in, in the last two days, it, sorry, something I was... To say this last one. But you yeah. said it, that if Africa really wants to do what they should do. They can feed the world. But mm -hmm. they cannot feed the world when they are still holding on to the apron string of the African countries created for them, in which they find themselves living in, and messing it up. And they don't even really understand it. OK, for example, yeah. in Nigeria, I, 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 the I, northern I, I, have, 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 been a, have, have been dissolved quite a long time ago, not now, even before independence. You don't have a you don't have a boundary in the north. No, People just go in and out. I have senior brothers who work. Even, even, even before the Europeans left, there was no boundary. Uh, Lugard yeah. said he find it troublesome to and stressful to even put a border there. Yeah, and uh, because he says it's, it's, there's no way you can monitor that border. No, so we, that's why those who understand themselves should go, and that was even what. Uh, Balewa was espousing. Let everybody be on his own. And but we refuse. Uh, our top priest, Zeke, and the uh, other members of the Ashon group were, were appealing to them that you see it's better for us to have a big Nigeria. I don't know what big Nigeria do, do you need it for. And they do not know. It's like they have no sense of geography, that there are countries much, much smaller than Nigeria. Switzerland, Norway, Sweden, and other Denmark. They are tiny exactly. countries, or even in the Great Britain that colonized us, a tiny country. I just don't see why they couldn't just see what I saw as a young student in the second, second, uh, I, I, in I, mean, I, think, I, I think it was just this uh, myopic uh, 
pan africanist uh, vision and if you look at when uh, for, for instance lagos state used to be three local governments mm. badagri etiosa and uh, the kenya local government it was just three local governments mm. so in their mind ah, we've got three local government we've got this I, I i was saying in some few days ago i said if we have a urban nation there is nothing stopping us from having when you ask a lot of people, they say, oh, we have uh, 26 uh, tribes. Some people say we have 33 tribes within the Yoruba nation. I said, why uh, uh, restrict them to tribes? We can turn these people into federation and let Yoruba nation have 26 or 36 federation and let each federation go and uh, uh, develop themselves as they want to within a bigger uh, uh, Yoruba country. And let us have so that there's nothing like oh these are oh I want balele oh I want uh, on dolele I want walele let the federation go back develop themselves let there not be any hoodwinking of uh, this uh, European system where they they tell you that the resources in a particular place belong uh, to the government no it does not belong to the government it belongs how can I buy my land and you say everything above the land belongs to me. But everything under the ground belongs to the government. And no, the land belongs to me first before it belongs to the government. So let let the palm oil in Okitikupa belongs to the community in Okitikupa. Let the oil in Ilaje be for the Ilaje. Let the taxes in Lagos be for the development of the people of Lagos. And let the uh, commerce in uh, Egba and their benefit be, be for them. And let them contribute into a sovereign wealth fund. For, yeah. the, for the upcoming generation. I used to say that our forefathers who ran this land for thousands of years did not leave us with a, 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 with a, 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 a dime of debt. But no. today, the current politicians are leaving generations who are not even born with heavy burden of debt because of these uh, European uh, uh, structures that we are left no. for us. I would say I would say the European structure was corrupted by our people. For example, in the US. Yeah, but, but then the thing hold is on, the evil, you, the you evil and America are also in a heavy debt. Yeah, it, you mentioned that resources and so on. You know, um to some point, the Europeans left for us in Western region land registry system. Obasan John now corrected it with uh, what he brought. I have a booklet land of use, uh, land use decree. It was based on an agreement with the Europeans. That was not the intention of the Europeans. The intention was to hold the land in trust for those who have abandoned it. And when they come back, they'll be giving back their land. That was, the, that was what land use decree was meant to be. So uh, those who now recrafted it, Turned it to their favor to show that okay, me Olowoko, I can go and buy land in my Duguri. <laughs> no, it, it, it's not somebody's own land, and then you now say that uh, you have uh, the governor to be the owner of the land, and then at the top, the country owns all the land in the country, and even the rivers now, according to the current edits, you cannot touch it. If you see a river that is far flowing through your land, you cannot build a little dam on it until you get permission from uh, the government. From the government, but even then, the permission should be based on how are you going to exploit it. You should do it in a way that is not going to impact on the environment too deeply, and that's why you you have what you call uh, water harvesting. You divert part of the river to one side and generate electricity and irrigation and pass the rest of the water back to the river. That is done. I learned that in the, in the Edinburgh uh, uh, dam constructions and how to make it uh, uh, environmentally friendly and sustainable. I'm trained in that. And in fact, I'm a member of the British Hydro Power Association, of which I still have a lot of material which I can teach young men and women on how to do it in their various localities. It is not rocket science. It is just investment and knowing who to do it. 
how people can do it. You don't need to invite the Europeans, except maybe uh, uh, deciding certain basic things which we may not know, which I think most of us can know readily. After look at the Chinese, they built that one of the largest dams in the world. They land from the west. From even down. Down. They land. They land from the west, and then they now touch their own people, and then they now build what they want to do. Exactly. That is what we should do. Exactly. Uh, the, 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 the Japanese, the Chinese. Yes. The, the Japanese. China is China is building the, the largest ship in the world as we as we speak now. Yeah, uh, uh, most of them were built in a. Uh, uh, by you know the man who started the shipping industry in uh, South Korea was a bicycle repairer. <laughs> yeah, he started to learn how to forge uh, heavy equipment, military yeah. equipment. From there, he moved on to knowing how to make boats and all that. And then he set up with investment. He didn't have to bribe like. We would, most of us have been forced to do in Nigeria. When we get there with ideas, they will say, what is in it for, uh, for us? Exactly. I've experienced it twice. And in fact, I was be accused by the, the second to the last governor of Oshun State of not releasing my documents when I was telling him of, uh, about clay brick production. Luckily, I have clay brick as my background. We can do all these things cheaply. In Nigeria, using agricultural waste, particularly rice, rice husk, is very simple, but very technical. You need to learn it, of which I know how to. Unfortunately, no one wants the, the, me. The, 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 that the problem, the problem in yeah. the society where we come from, uh, is everybody believes that uh, before you get something done. You need to rub the grease, the palm of some someone, yeah. uh, which, which is uh, uh, I don't it's I don't know where it's regarding our progress. Yeah, I don't know where we've got that culture from, but it's definitely not a Yoruba culture. Uh, and uh, a, talk, talk, a, talking about Yoruba not culture, a white culture, we 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 sort of because you know why the why is we have a country that the the people don't belong to each other. And yeah. up to there, you notice Lagos has been denied electricity. If if we really have a country and we find that a conurbation is developing rapidly, you must provide infrastructure to match up with development. To match up that. Yeah, Which schools, is, roads. Roads, railway, uh, metro lines, and all That's other forms of transportation to move goods and services rapidly. Look at Britain, look at everywhere in the world except in Africa. We are not developing the infrastructure that is, is supposed to make us stand and be proud. We are not, okay. I, I, the ridiculous thing is that some, uh, some investors wanted to go and build the, the large Inga Dam in, in the Congo. You know what? When they were interviewing one of the uh, energy managers in the Congo, in uh, Kinshasa. He said when it when it is built, most of it will be used in producing uh, hi, um, hydrogen. Then he said the uh, man I told you that he said most of it, but the rest of it will be used by your people. Then he said, Oh, our people are too poor, they cannot pay for it. He's not thinking ahead. That if this will and, 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 and that, that, is why, that is why I said the problem in Africa is. Us. We see, we yeah, see so our resources. I was like, I put my hands on my head. We see our resources. Just you, you are, you are downgrading your people. We see our resources as our source of wealth, rather than developing our people to become the source of wealth, uh, which is what the Europeans and the Americans did. So, and that was what enabled uh, Norway to be able to save every penny since 1970 till date, and the money is still growing. Norway has one of the highest uh, taxes in the world. And but it's one of the richest countries in the world. It's one of the richest country. You would go from primary school to a professor without paying a penny in yeah. Norway. You would, and that you was would what be, I would a woman would be fed. In Western region, but 
a made... woman will give birth and will have two years of uh, maternity leave so that yeah. the, 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 the mom can bond properly with the child. And that brings good development to the children we are thinking about. If they are truly uh, the future, we are building uh, everything for. Because a lot of people don't think that, they, they just think, oh, they will live in this world up until the end of time and not uh, leave the world. But it's just a, a short time. People build intergenerational wealth to pass something to the people. Our ancestors, yeah, they weren't rich. They didn't keep us with debt. They gave us land that we could develop. But today, people have no land. They, they have no money. The and they have no welfare environment whereby you uh, the 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 farm uh, the farmer can put his products on the roadside and, and leave it. And, and so people revenue. will come and buy. The woman is with uh, with his uh, wares in in her shop will set it up, go inside, start cooking for people will come and buy and put money down. That was a legacy we have missed now. Oh, hope, and I hope. believe we can retrieve part of it by hope, developing hope, hope. honesty again. Hopefully. We can bring up because my mom told me one thing. He said, for Africa to develop, we need only one thing, and that is the truth. We need to tell ourselves. And, and that's what truth. I just said. Honestly, uh, yeah. Uh, that's where we'll be wrapping it up for today. Babajala, if you have any message for the African Union, the Yoruba people, the Nigeria people, and even the African countries like the Ambazonia, the Tigray people the Biafra people that are also fighting for their own independence. What message would you like to pass to them? The message of truth and understanding that they should not give up. And for the African Union, they should go back to the drawing table and really re-examine the role they are playing in Africa. Is that the right role they are playing? Do, they, do we really have African countries that can be called an African Union? Or is Africa one country? That is the impression most people are trying to give. And therefore, they are not helping. They are steadily riding the bicycle of having a united Africa. It cannot happen. Can you have a united Europe? No. They have a cooperating Europe. America was born out of the battle of the gun, if you know. And Nigeria? And most African countries were born out of amalgamation. And this amalgamation, not, not hold on, this amalgamation, the Africans did not have a hand in creating. And mm. therefore, it has caused a lot of problems and mayhem, bloodshed, and wars. So it has to be dissolved so Thank that you, Africa can start all over again. Thank you very much. My, 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 my simple message is uh, to have true Pan-Africanism, uh, uh, it has to be based on real African values that have, been that have been developed over the years, not the imported values we've uh, taken from either Europe, America, Asia, or Arabs. And uh, you've summed it up that uh, we cannot have the, African the 54 African countries we have today uh, that is not created by Africans, but by European imperialism, true amalgamation. So for those who are clamoring, oh, Pan-Africa, Pan-Africa, we cannot have true Pan-Africanism except we understand who we truly are and develop cooperation uh, for a better integration rather than trying to integrate and then look for cooperation. So for those of you who have joined us today, thank you very much. And uh, hopefully we will see you again the same, uh, well, at 12. Uh, today we've come a little late, but uh, thank you for sticking with us. Uh, hopefully we'll see you uh, by, uh, next week. Uh, and until we come your way again, continue to stay strong. Thank you. <laughs>
Lojo kujo la bewe kuku duku noko Pojop International Wati wati kwe ti kwe Lati bati wati mbabo wong fi bakan teri u Wati wati bebe wati bebe bede Pojop Cinema Pojop Cinema ni watu bede Pojop Cinema no di YouTube E follow wong ke like wong ke subscribe Ibe leti mwa wa wa ya ba le filmu E doki filmu to le fo gan tara Pojop Cinema mo beri fu nyi Filmu me so an to to ni wong po jagi wong A wong ban kong be filmu E kini ma je mwe gwa E keji my wet E keta o meni E keri ala meko E karu a ima Se wali pe ga ki se se rago O kwa jabe E le le ti keju E de yo ba ni wong fi si a wong film yi E le e kefa se e kesa E de yi bo ni wong kwa E kefa tama E keje di casting E kejo e mwa di detective E kesa andre E mwa di detective at andre O di siri si le fi ma wo E ye da be le wo di ye Po jom international Po jom cinema E follow wong ke like Wong lo di youtube Wong wong lo di facebook Wong wong lo di instagram Po jom cinema O ti dobe e subscribe